Oh, I think I have sound now. Looks like our stream is live. I'm not recording yet. Um, just come so that we could start going over the rules of the new winner winner chicken dinner. I'll wait for a couple more people to come in and then, because we're about 14 minutes early, I was afraid that the video I was loading wasn't going to load before time. I've been working on it all day. Looks like we got four or five people in here already. Yay! We'll just chat for a few minutes while we're waiting on the actual time to come in. Yeah, we have some thunder and lightning too. Hi, Debbie. Glad you could join us. We're just chatting for a few minutes. We've got about 13 minutes before we're actually live. Hi, Princess. That's Disa. Princess Disa. Hi, B. Haven't seen you for a little bit. Hey, Linda. I'm going to switch over to my chart. We're going to do something new. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys that are already here with Winter Winter Chicken Dinner. We're just going to um, make it a little bit easier for everybody because um, I've noticed that when I do my countdown and stuff that, hi Catherine, some of you don't uh, or have more lag than others and I have to go by what's on my screen. Hey Nancy. So uh, the countdown thing really isn't working. Oh no, I bet you're going through withdrawals there, Debbie. We'll have to get that finished sun, uh, very soon so that you can jump in here and play some of this stuff and work on some stuff that I just started doing. But anyway, winter, winter chicken dinner, because of the lag and stuff like that, I decided to change up our winter winter chicken dinner so I'm gonna go ahead and start going over that and then I can answer questions for anybody that comes in after um, as we go along. Hi Vicki. Let me change over to my other screen here. And I guess I could go ahead and start recording it won't hurt anything that way everybody can see it on the playback. Hey Barb, glad you could join us. Hey Sue, um, I was just explaining this is the new winter winter chicken dinner and it's going to be called winter winter chicken dinner bingo. Because of the lag this makes it fair for all. There will be random times. Sometimes I may do the winter winter chicken dinner draw early. Sometimes I may do it midpoint of a video. Sometimes I may do it at the end. Um, you have to be here to win winner winner chicken dinner. Uh, you can't come in, pick a number, and leave. That's not going to work. Um, you have to be here when the winner is drawn and claim the prize. Otherwise, we're going to select another winner. Um, I will take numbers only in YouTube chat, and I will take them like we're sitting here chatting before we actually go live at 7 p.m. I will take numbers up until 7.15 p.m. After that, you have to wait till next week. Once you pick a number, whoever picks it first gets it. Um, if you pick it after that, you'll have to pick another number. Um, and once you pick a number, if you pick, let's just say B1, and you're here this week, and you come in next week, B1 is still yours. If you don't show up, B1 comes, your name comes off of B1, and it's available to whoever wants it from that point. So to keep your number, you have to be here every week. Is that making sense to everybody so far? If you have any questions, just ask. Um, you can only win twice in a four week span. So if you win this week and next week, you don't get to play for the next two weeks. But if you're here, you get to keep your number. If you don't come those two weeks after you've won two weeks, your number goes up for whoever wants it. It goes up for grabs. 
So if you want, when you pick your number, hey Pooch, if you pick a number and you want to keep that number throughout, you have to be here every week to keep that number. No, you did not miss. We haven't started yet. Um, no, that, so that's okay. This is a brand new Winter Winter Chicken Dinner and it starts tonight. Uh, all past Winter Winter Chicken Dinners don't count. We are starting over with a brand new uh, format on it. You can change your number if you want to, Bonnie. If you pick B1 this week and you want to change it next week, all you got to do is say, I don't want the number I had last week. I want to pick a new one. But if somebody else has, if their name is on one of these lines, you cannot pick that number. One person per number. In the event that we were to have 80 people, I will then go to a random number generator adding 15 numbers at a time um, for that particular video. I don't foresee that happening right here this soon. It could. I hope it does. That would be great for me. Um, but till then, we're just going to do it this way. So at this point, type in the number that you want with the letter. If you want one, it's B1. If you want, just like in bingo, pick your number and whoever picks their numbers first, get them and I'm going to go ahead and start entering them in since we have about 13 people here. And my moderators and Bonnie, you guys are all eligible because you are not paid, so you get to pick as well. Cindy Budden, B3. Debbie, I-21. Barb, B-9. B, wants B-5. Catherine wants B-6. Rona, hi Rona. Rona wants B7. Oh, I don't know why I put B7 in there. I guess I was thinking it. Linda wants B12. Sue wants B4. Everybody likes those B numbers. Um, Poochie Poo, you just pick a number that's available that you see on your screen. You mean it's G46 through 60, just like bingo, uh, Sue. Did you not want B4? Which one did you want? That's B10, Bonnie. If you see the color up here, all the blues are B, all the I's are red, all the N's are pink, all the G's are green, and all the O's are yellow. There is no G4. It's B4 or G46 through 60. B5 is taken, Poochie. You'll have to pick another. It has to be available on your screen there. Vicky wants in 37. Okay, Sue wants G60. In 31 through 45, Poochie. Catherine, you said B6. There is no D, guys. B-I-N-G-O. Hetty wants I-17.
Make sure that your, your name is beside the number that you picked. You're okay, Princess Disa. Uh, pick a number that's not taken that you see on your screen. Everybody gets one number. Okay, Bonnie, you wanted B10 right here. That's where you're at. Is that correct? I did typo your name. I apologize. There you go. Princess Disa wants I18. There you go. Okay, if I have your name, then you have your number. I'm just going to save this just in case my power drops. We had some thunderstorms. I think it's past now, though. We have about three minutes before. Uh, Patricia wants, you mean 072? Oops, that's says 73. Let's be a two. There we go. There we go. Got you in there, Patricia. Hey, how are you doing? If you don't see your name up there, you don't have a number. And again, I'm just going to go over that for the few of you who came in. You keep this number every week that you come unless you want to change it. The only way you're going to lose your number is if you're not here for a week. Say, um, let's just say Bonnie doesn't come next week. She has B10. She's not here. Somebody wants B10, they can take it. They can take her number from her. Um, the next time she comes, she can pick a new number. I just figured this was the most fair way for me to do this, guys, uh, since everybody has lag and things pop up on the screen different times when I ask the questions. Um, those that are lagging, it, it makes it tough for them to try to win. So this is fair for everybody. I will, Like I said, I will take numbers up until 7.15. At that point, it's cut off and... Nobody gets in. Nobody else can get in until next week. I'm just dropping numbers into the bucket now for the ones who have picked. Hey, Karen. Karen, we're playing a, our, our Claire. Uh, we're playing a new winner winner chicken dinner format. Um, you can pick any number that's not taken you see on your screen. And at some point, I'm going to do a draw. And you guys can watch me draw from the bucket. And that person with that number wins winner, winner, chicken dinner. You keep your number every week unless you want to change. If you're not here, you will lose your number. And you'll have to pick another one the next week that you are here. You want N32? And am I putting that under uh, Karen or Claire? Oh, that's Claudia. I'm sorry. Hey, Claudia. Claire or Karen, I don't know which one is here. One of you can pick a number for winner, winner, chicken dinner.
And just to keep things on the up and up for those who just are just coming in, um, you can win twice in a four-week span. Previous wins from before today do not count. This is a brand new format. Poochie, you want G52. Done. Okay, we're going to go ahead here and get started. I'm going to save that. I'm going to put my numbers off to the side for right now. Uh, anybody that picks after Poochie Poo just picked hers, just make sure you type it in caps so I see it up until 7.15. I will take numbers. And we're going to get started on this week's projects. Let me switch over here so you guys can see me for a minute anyway. Hey guys! Don't pay attention to my hair. I got stuck in the rain a while ago and I didn't have time to restyle so I'm just gonna live with it. Is everybody doing okay? So far, you guys, hey, thank you, Bonnie. You guys liking the new winter, winter chicken dinner format? I think that's going to be more fair for everybody, and it's going to be a little bit more fun. I apologize if we are um, buffering. I can't do anything. It's probably the weather. Um, Karen wants in 36. And that's Claire, Karen and Claire. I'm just going to put Karen Claire in there. Hey, Alice. Alice, we're playing a new winner, winner chicken dinner game. Um... I will show you the screen really quick and you can pick a number that is not taken and that's okay. You still have time and if you uh, pick your number and it's drawn throughout for winner winner chicken dinner then you will be winner winner chicken dinner this week. So that makes it more fair for everybody. Those are the taken numbers. Alice, you can pick any number that doesn't have a name beside it. And I will throw your number into the bucket. And then we're going to get started on this week's. Uh, Linda, this one is not. This one was sent to me uh, by Vistaprint when I did my cards. Um, the other one that I did was a print and cut. Um, I have pictures of that on the website, and if you come to chat, I have some in there too. It has the roses and the mason jar. As a matter of fact, we went over how to do that in um, the Patreon last month. But I do use the uh, StarCraft print and cut from Brilliant Vinyl. Alice, do you have a number in mind here, honey? Five is taken by B. It has to be one that's not taken. And I'm going to swap over. They're hard to see. Uh, I don't know. Um, in the I have 1, 2, 4, 8, 11, 13, 14, and 15. You can make your uh, your YouTube full screen, I believe, um, by clicking. I'm trying to see. Yeah, if you click down there in the bottom right corner, right there around where it, where it looks like little squares, corners, 
If you click that, you can go full screen and see. Okay. You can also just keep picking until you hit one that we, we have there. And I'll let you know. Let's go over to the project camera. I just put this card up in the Patreon groups for you guys in 44 hours. Done. Um, this has like the wheel on it and you can turn it and it changes in the little window. And it's a little bigger than an A2 size card, but I loaded this file for you guys. You can change this up from happy birthday to any occasion. You can change the words in there. Uh, you just want to make sure you get them in the right spots on the wheel. So this file was uploaded for you guys today. Um, this is for the Patreon supporters. If you're not a Patreon supporter, um, you can then um, subscribe or or pledge per month and then you will be able to have access to those cards. Uh, I believe that one is in the design files. It is not in the exclusive. Exclusives, um, just so some of you guys know because some have been asking me, um, pledging five dollars or less gets you all of the SVG, well SVGs are for everybody on, on the SVG section of the site. Design files are for Patreons who pledge one or two dollars or anything in between. To get the exclusive files, you have to pledge five dollars to get those. So if you don't see a file in there, there's a chance that it could be um, an exclusive. An exclusive means that it hasn't been shared with the public or I don't share it with the public any longer. Um, and Designs files, they may have been shared publicly, but I do not list them anymore. There's not a list out there for anybody else to uh, get them from. So that's the difference there. And B, you said you wanted to change, no, that was Princess D, so you wanted to change to B4. I thought I put you in here. Maybe I, there you are. You are on 18, okay. Okay, you are changed to B4. Let me take 18 out. And I am just making sure that everybody's number is in there. And we have 44. There we are. Okay, guys, everybody's number is in the little bucket here for the draw. If you've picked, you're already in there. And I switched yours. I took 18 out and I put um, everybody else in. Okay. Next, the other thing that we've done, I'm going to move this card out of the way. A lot of you are asking for a step-by-step -step tutorial on doing the epoxy glitter cups. Okay? And this is the one that I did with the tutorial. You can see I used the um, adhesive foil, but the step-by-step the -step video just went up. I mean seconds before I went live tonight. So if you're looking for the tutorial, if you were one of the ones asking about the tutorial on these glitter cups, um, all of that is loaded now and you guys have a step-by-step -step tutorial on it. Hey Wanda, you're just in time Wanda. We're doing winner winner chicken dinner. Hi Kathy. Um, let me switch over. For you guys that are just coming in, we have four minutes. You'll be able to pick a number, and it won't take this long as normally, guys. This is uh, because it's new, because most of the time you will already have a number. 
You can pick one of the numbers here that are not chosen. Anything chosen you cannot have. Your, your number will go into a bucket. Once you have a number, you get to keep that number every week unless you just want to change. That number is yours for every week that you're here. If you miss a week coming, then your number goes up for grabs for somebody else. Hey, LaShonda. Um, so, pick your numbers. You got about four minutes to pick, um, and your name will go in for the drawing. You can only pick numbers through YouTube chat. I take numbers before and after, um, well, when, as soon as I come on and up to 7.15. Kathy wants G58. Oh, I missed a U in there, didn't I? I missed the A and the U. There we go. Um, Sharon wants B15. Oh. See, there I am typing what I'm saying. There we go. Sharon Foster, B15. That one in the bucket. I got to put 58 in the bucket. 55, Deborah. 55 is in the bucket. Uh, what you see on your screen, Wanda. If it doesn't have a name beside it, then you can you can pick that number. Oh, you're on an iPhone. Um, what's one of your favorite numbers, Wanda? It's like bingo, 1 through 75. B7 is taken. I have, how about, you said just pick one. How about 27? Or C. 1 through 75, Wanda. Okay, um, while well, she's picking a number, tonight's winner, winner, chicken dinner. You got one minute, Wanda. How about 20? Uh, Debbie wants nine. Nine is taken, Debbie. Um, I'll give you 27, Wanda, and then I will post a list in the Patreon. Um, and you guys can change up if you want to. That way at least you have a number. Uh, there are tons left, uh, Debbie. Nobody else can pick after Debbie. Debbie's the last one because it's 715. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen, seventeen, twenty one, twenty seven, thirty two, thirty six, thirty seven, forty four, fifty two, fifty five, fifty eight, sixty, and seventy two are taken. Debbie wants seventeen. Uh, seventeen is taken. Eleven is available. You got eleven, Debbie. And there are no more picks. Nobody else can join in. And she picked only because she was she picked before 7.15, but her number was taken. So now we're ready to get going. Um, we're going to go back to the project camera. It, everybody else will have to wait until next week.
Okay, let me make sure I got everybody in. I did Wanda Kelly, Debbie Roberts. Yeah, we're all in there. Okay, let's go back to the project camera. I apologize, guys. I knew this first week would be a little off uh, because everybody had to pick numbers. But winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't know if everybody got in on this, but it's scrapbook.com. This was a freebie this week. So you're going to be able to get this Tonic Studios die. Um, it also helps you line up and does a little dot. You don't have to use the Nuvo Drops on it, but you can. It just enhances it. Um, but it will put a little divot in there for you for that. This is the Blossom Spray die. And you're also going to get the Flower and Clover Confetti die um, and a Griffin. So that is, and you're going to get your chocolate bar. I don't have one. I have to go get some. Uh, they are still out of them, so I'm looking. Uh, but we are going to do that. Everybody's numbers are in for winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I will draw at some point throughout the video tonight. Tonight's topic are the chip bags everybody has been wanting. And I have good news and I have bad news on those. Well, it's not really bad news. And um, let me put LaShonda down. I have you down, LaShonda, for B8. You got yours, Vicki? Yeah, it, I got mine, too. It's really nice. I ended up with two because I had placed another order, and I didn't realize it's one per customer, but they threw another one into my cart. Um, so... Um, so... Um, I said, why not? Let's just go ahead and give it away with the winner, winner, chicken dinner tonight. So that's how that got thrown in. The good news on the chip bags is if you have the thin card stocks, and I don't know if any of you bought that Freedom, that paper studio. Now, you can use 12 by 12 papers, too, for this. But you can do your chip bag, and I didn't really complete this one. I was just making sure that it would work. And it worked perfectly fine. So if you have the 12 by 12 papers, you can use Design Space and cut it. The bad news is you cannot do print then cut with the chip bags in Design Space because of the print then cut limitation. Because it takes an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet to cover these small chip bags. And these are the like the 50 cent lunch packs the one ounce bags, it takes this size sheet to cover them. Um, and the most we can go in design space is 11 and a half inches anyway. So, you know, you really can't print and cut that big. But you can use a thin paper, and I, I did this one and I used, I used marker on this one. And we're going to put it together. I'm going to show you guys. And I used the calligraphy marker and let it write what I wanted to on there. Yeah, Kathy, this is great for this. This is that same paper pack. It came out of there. This is the same paper pack that I used for the, um, the wreath for the picnic box. And this will fit into the picnic box. Uh, and the same thing that I used for the tablescape firecrackers. So uh, all of your stuff will coordinate. And this is the last week of the 4th of July stuff, guys, because it's coming up, and we're going to move on to the next holiday and the next projects. But this one, I printed, okay? I just found, I went and typed in 4th of July backgrounds, and I got a background that I liked. And I just printed it normally. I didn't do any special best quality or anything else. I just printed it. Now you can do lighter if you want to use less ink, things like that, but the good news is you can print this one and make it all one piece on copy paper. You don't need any special paper. It's copy paper because we're not opening up these chips and dumping them inside. It would be an oily mess on any paper. We're going to put the whole chip bag inside. Um, so to get around that, because we couldn't get the nutrition label to print for the cardstock ones, I bought just the old cheapo 8.5 by 11 
inch sheets of Avery shipping labels. This is like three bucks and you get ten labels. I'm sure you can get them in bulk for a lot less on um, Amazon. But I just grabbed these while I was at the store. That's all you need. And then you can print and cut your barcode, which I didn't put on the others because they were just test. You can print and cut your barcode and you can print and cut your nutritional facts and you can put those on there. And if you take a close look at the nutrition facts, it's they've been changed up to say fun, calories from fun, zero, and then picnic fun, gratefulness. And you can change these out for whatever your theme is. If it's a birthday, an anniversary, a picnic, uh, Memorial Day, 4th of July, you can change up your nutrition label to be whatever you want it to be. Okay? And... I have a file on that. Let me just minimize this for now and switch over so you guys can see in Design Space how to set this up. If you are a Patreon subscriber, no matter what level you are, you have this. This has been uploaded to the Patreon files. This is a super, super simple um, file for you guys who are not patrons to recreate. All you need is an eight, an 11 by eight and a half square. And I put score lines at the top. If you guys have a crimper and I'm going to show you what that is, you don't need the score lines. You can detach them and get rid of them. Yeah, I have, I picked that uh, freedom paper out of that paper stack and then this happy 4th of July. I used the calligraphy pen to let it write this on there. You can have it write anything you want. Um, and then I just uploaded this. If you go and you search for holiday scan codes, you can get one that says Happy Independence Day. Uh, some of them say 4th of July. Some say St. Patrick's Day. Happy Birthday. They got them Merry Christmas, Thanksgiving. You can, you can have whatever you want, but you can just upload your own photo here, and then you just flatten it to a square, and then you're going to print and cut that, and you're going to print and cut your nutrition facts. Um, and you can put this in, and all I use for you guys who, do, who are not patrons, you can use the Arial font. That's what I did. I used the Arial black here, and then the regular, and then these, all these dark lines are just um, squished down and flattened squares. Uh, I just made them really small and just lined everything up like I wanted it, and then I flattened the whole thing. So then when I send it to make it, it's going to cut it out of whatever pattern paper that I chose, and it's going to print and cut these two pieces, and then I can apply them on. Okay? So let's go over back to the project camera, and I'll show you how that one turned out and how we put it together and show you about the crimper and then I'll show you the alternative one that you can print. Um, so here we go. I have this print and cut and mine was off a little bit but I, I'm not going to sweat it. Um, and then I have my little label here, my barcode. And I'm just, like I said, I printed this on sticker paper or address label paper and the reason I picked it instead of like a clear sticker paper is because the Avery is blocked out that way when you put these on your bags if it is a pattern paper the colors of your pattern won't bleed through okay and I hope I got that in the right place there's a score line on there guys to help guide you oh I got it right up next to it I might be able to replace that if I go slow and easy move that over just a little bit there's a score line on there but you don't want to actually you don't want to fold it let's just pop it over here just a hair and stick it down so I have that and then on this side is where your nutrition facts go and if you're using the Avery too, it has that easy peel where you can just peel and stick part of it. I'm just going to bring it right about here. And I'm going to stick that down.
and just fold it down. That's really all there is to this. Where your score lines are, don't fold and put a crease in it, but you can just kind of, you just want something like that, just a, just a guide, okay? The thicker card stocks, I'm not sure if they will work. You can experiment and try. Uh, I tore my paper right there. But the next thing you're going to do is just place your chips in, like so. And then I just put a dab of hot glue right on the bag of chips. And then I am folding over the right side first, and that's where your scan code is. Actually, I put these on backwards, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Either way that you want to do them. You can put it on either side that you want. And then you're going to, what I did, oops, I'm a little bit off. Make sure your chips are in the center. Oh, yeah. All I did was run a bead of glue right down the edge of that paper. And it doesn't have to be heavy, guys. Just a little light bead of glue. And then you're going to fold it over like so. And just let it take hold. I think I missed right there. I mean, they're really easy to make. There's really nothing to it. And that's what you should have at this point. Is everybody following along? Thank you, Princess Disa. So once you're at this point, the next thing you want to do is just put a bead of glue right down here into the bottom of the bag. That's all I did. And then you're just going to mash that flat. Then you're going to do the top. You don't need a whole lot. Like I said, just a little bit of glue. And then mash it flat. I like to go from the center and spread it out. And it's perfectly fine at this point. If you notice, I have the score lines on there, and that kind of works uh, for the cardstock a little bit. But if you have a crimper, this is a crimper, and it has just, this is just a straight crimper. They have them with patterns and things like that in it. You just lift your handle up, and then you can put your chip bag right there in it and clamp it. And then you're just going to crank it just down just a little bit. You don't want to crush your chips, but just crank it down just a little bit. Roll it back out. Then it gives you that crimped edge look like it's a prepackaged chip thing. And then you're just going to turn it around and do the other side as well. Just going to open up my crimper. Just stick the top down in the crimp. Close it down and then twist. There we go. And then that just makes it look like it was packaged at a factory for you. And that's all there is to that. And that's using the cardstock, guys. And I, like I said, I put mine on backwards. You guys put yours on the right way. This is supposed to be on this side. This is supposed to be on this side. Like this. So, that's that one. The next one is just the regular copy paper. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this. And then I'm going to show you how to do it in your word processor. Or... I, think, I guess I did do those right. I got them on the wrong side or something. I don't know. But it's basically the same process. This bag of chips is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to open that up and get my... Because I got these thinking I was getting the right size, and it wasn't. So I'm just going to... We're just going to go with this bag of chips again. Well, I said I was. I just, oops. Goldfish, anyone? 
<laughs> it just went everywhere. I'm going to open up this one. Let's see. see if I can get it open without actually opening them. That's the thing. When you crimp it down in that glue, it's in there. better. I should have went and got some more chips, but I didn't. I stayed home and designed. Okay, so this is how this one started out. Again, you're just going to put that dab of glue, and you're going to wrap one side around. The copy paper, in my opinion, is easier to work with. And then I just run a bead right down that side. And then I'm just going to tuck my chips and pull the copy paper around it. Well, I said it was easier, and then all of a sudden I want to stick my finger in it. There we go. Might be easier to stick one side and then the other and work it. Oh, yeah. Don't pay attention to where I stuck my finger in the glue. And then basically the same thing. You're going to run a bead at the top and press it down and then at the bottom and press it down. And then you have your chip bag. And again, you're just going to do the same thing if you have a crimper. If not, you can put this on a scoreboard, if you have a scoreboard, and just run gently because it is copy paper. It will um, pierce easier. So you just want to be careful not to punch a hole in it if you're using your copier. I mean your scoreboard. And copy paper. There we go. And now you have the prepackaged look on those. Very, very easy. Right, you can do them in small Ziploc bags too, Karen. That's a very good idea. I hadn't gotten to that point yet. Uh, but if you've got like a big bag of chips, don't just dump your chips into these guys because um, it will the oils from the chips and stuff will mess up your papers. So if you, like Karen said, if it's for your family and not for a party, just uh, buy the big bag and put them in little snack bags and put them in there. LaShonda, I bought the crimper at, I have one somewhere, it's a Fisker's, it's blue, and well it came in a set and you just cranked it in and I couldn't find it. I got this one on Amazon. Um, this one was $15. They have this one in there. Some of them are a diagonal. You have to be careful. You want the one that's straight. And some of them have patterns on them. Um, but if you want the one that's straight, I think I got this one for $15. But they didn't have a picture of this one. Um, I went and looked at the um, reviews and somebody in the reviews had put the photo in there so I knew that this was the one that I wanted but I got it for about 15 now there are some on Amazon and they're wanting like 36 bucks for them guys don't do that um, use your scoreboard or shop at blitzy or scrapbook.com and find them um, yeah I couldn't find one at Hobby Lobby at my Hobby Lobby I couldn't find one at all um, so but I've got a set of those somewhere, and I just couldn't find them. So let's switch back over to the design space, and let me show you guys how to recreate that one. If you are an exclusive Patreon member, the file is already uploaded for you, and all you have to do is customize it. Um, those of you who are not Patreon members, like I said, you can become a Patreon member and get access to it, 
or you can create your own in Word. This is Pages. Um, this is uh, the equivalent of Word for Mac. And all I have done is I have gone in and I have removed all the margins, okay? Because you want to remove the margins and change them to zeros. Um, I don't have any margins on this at all. Then I inserted a background. And if any of you guys need help, you can just ask me and I'll be happy to help you. The size snack bag, Claudia, is the one ounce, the little lunch packs. Um, the ones you get in like the big packs like the Lay's and the uh, Frito and all that kind of stuff. The variety packs. Or I think at Walmart they have like the bins of two for 50, uh, 50 cents a piece, two for a dollar. Those size, they're the one ounce sizes. Or one and an, some of them I think are one and an eighth ounce. It depends on what type chip it is. But you're just going to come in and you're going to landscape your background in here, uh, and you're just going to get that set up by putting the background in and changing your. I don't really know. I am new to Mac, so I have to go here. It is. Uh, I came in and you see I took my document margins to zero. Left, right, top, and bottom. Everything is zero. Um, there's not really supposed to be a header and footer, but it doesn't really matter. I don't mind the little white band around mine. I think it makes it pop a little bit more, so I kind of like that. You want to do U.S. letter and you want it to be landscaped. Okay? So once you have it, your paper landscaped and set up and all your margins set to zero, then you can go on Google and find whatever background. And I did specifically type in background because I didn't want anything small that when, when I stretched it, it would pixelate. I wanted something that would be remain crisp and clear when I made it this size. Okay? So I put in the background. And then I just added a text box right here. And if I right-click I have this locked so that nothing moves, okay? I can't move anything on it. To change anything, you want to come in and unlock it. Um, I don't know if you have that option. I, I think there is that option in Word. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I used it. Um, where you can lock everything down in place so it doesn't move. But just, I, I locked everything so nothing could be uh, moved or changed. So if you're opening up the file, I think I left them unlocked for you Patreons. You'll need to lock yours once you go in and change it up. But you're just going to come in here, if it's locked, unlock it, and type in the name that you want or whatever you want it to say. If you want it to say Cobra Family Picnic or if you want it to say uh, Claudia's Birthday Party or Catherine's Anniversary, um, just whatever it is you want it to say in whatever font that you want, you're going to change that. Then I inserted a shape right here at the top. I really don't know where it's at in Word without looking at it. I didn't have time to grab my laptop and hook it up and set it up here. But you're just going to insert a shape and make it white. You're then going to use the Arial Black and the Arial Regular fonts and set this up. And again, these are just shapes. These black lines, they're nothing but shapes. I did not use lines or anything like that. Okay? And you're going to place it and make it say whatever you want. And I just moved that. Uh, and you're just going to line everything up like you like it. Make it say what you want. And then you're just going to select it and lock everything back down and or attach it, whatever you need to do. And I just lock mine so that nothing can get changed in there. For the scan tag, all I did was go to Google and I Googled bar um, bar scan codes. Holiday, I said holiday. Bar scan codes. This is one that says happy birthday. I included this one and the Independence Day one in the Patreon file. But you can go in and you can... Uh, the Picnic family is... Magnolia Sky, and that's free from DeFont. I'm pretty sure it is, the best I remember. Uh, 
I have to remember. Let's see. Let me unlock it. There we go. Yep, Magnolia Sky. Just wanted to be sure that was in there. But I put these, these two are in the file for my Patreon members, and you can just save them when you download. And I put instructions in here. The first thing you're going to do is download the file or create your file, okay? And then you're going to do, after you have everything lined up and save it, if you you created it, save it. Then when you go back in and work at, on it, do a save as. Uh, I actually saved this as a template on mine so that I can come in here and bring it up and not have to open this one. That way I always have this one for the 4th of July. But I left all of these in here for you guys. I left the instructions on how to do it. And if you're using three photos, if you're setting this up and doing panels like some people like to do for Disney, you can come in and what you need to do here is to make sure that your center photo is not more than four and a half inches, okay? And the sides are 2.125 inches. If you add all those up, it comes out to 11 and a half. So half of your chip is the front and the two sides are divided down the middle. So you're just dividing it in half and then dividing your other half into thirds. Um, yeah, quarters, I'm sorry, into quarters. That way you have them in the correct places where you need them. These don't have any scores or anything like that. You don't need them, as, as I showed you on that other. You don't really need them. You can crimp it or you can put it on your score and score it. Um, but it's easier to work with and copy paper is really inexpensive. It's a lot less expensive than um, cardstock. And if you're doing cardstock, make sure that you get 60 pound or less. Anything more than that, I don't think it will do well. But you can you can check it and see. Uh, the printed papers, you can get paper stacks all the time that are in themes, and that way you can do several, and the packs look a little different per page. So um, those will work great. But that's the only way that I could figure out how to get them printed on one sheet and not have to do anything, no stickers or anything. This is the most least expensive way, but it is outside of design space. Does anybody have any questions on that? And you may be even able, if you type into Google the nutrition facts, uh, if you want, type in something like birthday nutrition facts and then go to the images on that. You might be able to download the image and not have to type anything, and then you can just put it on there. Um, as a matter of fact, let me try to do that. Uh, let me get a new window here. Okay, here you go, guys. I typed in birthday nutrition facts, and then I'm going to images. And look, look at all of these. There's a cute one. Amazing, one amazing birthday. Fun, calories from fun, cake and ice cream, games and prizes, laughter, hugs, kisses, family, gratefulness. I can right click and download that image, and then I can come right here and minimize that. I opened it up. Oops. It's in my downloads so I can come to insert and I want oh, I'm still learning. Um, there we go. I'm still learning pages, so 
bear with me. And this was, that was saved as Emily something. There, Erica, there it is. That's how whoever created it saved it. And then I can insert that. And then I just need to size it. And then I can place that on my on my background and then lock that down and I'm ready to go. It will print just like that. So I mean there are, there are tons of things that you can do um, to create your own chip bag there. Again, backgrounds, very easy. Just go and look up backgrounds for whatever your theme is. And then you, you'll have that, and then that's the background that you'll use, and then just build on top of it from there. Did everybody understand that, or did I need to explain anything? Again, I don't have Word right in front of me, so I don't know where everything is on Word, but I'll be happy to try to answer any questions that you might have. Yay! So if you, any, everybody has either Word or Pages or something like that, I think you could even do it probably in Google Docs. Um, I don't see why you couldn't. But like I said, you want to get rid of all your margins number one, to build it, then you want to do your background, and then you want to layer your uh, text box, and then you want to add your labels or your bar scans. From that point, you just print it. Make sure you've got it on one page. Um, the file I set up, all of this is on page two, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to print page two. This is just a place for you to, to work with the pieces that you want. And again, this piece is supposed to be on the left side, and this piece on the right side. Yes. I just moved it um, for some reason. I don't know why, but the nutrition facts go on the left side of your paper, the bar scan on the right. That way, when they overlap and you fold it to the back, your nutrition facts will be on the right-hand side of the back of the bag, and the bar scan will be on the left. I don't think it matters. I mean, I think, uh, yeah, I've got I've got one bag here that's got them on both side, both of them on the same side. So you can change this up. You can put photos on there. You can put whatever you want. Right, Bonnie. You could do something for your class for Halloween. You could any of that. It, it, this works for every holiday, every occasion. There's something that you can do with this. I, w I w really hope that they increase our printing size in design space because I, w I would prefer to set this up in design space because it's so much easier to share. Um, but this is our workaround for now. We can either do it with outside of design space with copy paper and print everything, or we can cut it out of a lightweight cardstock, have our writing put on there, and then we can print and cut our labels to get around that. So, actually, in design space, I'm trying to think here. It doesn't really matter because they're stickers and you can put them on the side like you want. So it doesn't even matter. Now, I did, when I did this one, guys, I did use the calligraphy pen, the 2.0 for the writing. That gave me a good heavy bold, especially if you want if you're doing this on a pattern paper. You need it to be big and bold. So you'll want to go as big as you can go just about on there, and you want to use a heavy pen. Okay, guys, let's do winter winter chicken dinner. What do you guys think? I have all the numbers in this bucket right here. I'm going to mix it up just a little bit more. And I know you guys can't see that my head is turned, but trust me, it is. Well, maybe you can see. Let me. I am not going to peek into 
that bucket. Maybe if I put this over here, then you go, yep, yeah, that'll work. Again, don't pay attention to my hair. I know it's scary. I got it wet. I am just going to shake it up over here. I'm not going to look, and I'm going to pull out a number. And I'm even hiding the color so you guys can't see it. 21. And who had 21? Let's see. Me. Debbie Spaulding. Congratulations, Debbie. You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, if you're a Patreon, I have your address. If you are not, please message it to me and I will get you your uh, candy bar and your dies. So, Debbie is our winner. All these numbers will stay in the bucket unless somebody changes next week. Everybody's already in there, and then we'll add whoever needs to be added. So I'll keep those separated. Does anybody have any questions on any of their projects or design space that we need to go over? Anything that you guys are having trouble with this week? Need explaining? You're welcome, guys. Next week I am going to start and I am going to... Yeah, Vicki, they're fun and they're quick. It doesn't take long to do that. It doesn't take long at all. Next week I am... If I can get it to work for me, I don't know if, do you guys know what paper marbling is? Where the paint floats on the top of the water and then you dip your paper into it to get that design on there? Have any of you guys seen that? Anyway, that is what I'm working on this week. And if I can get it to work, I'm going to show you guys how to do it next week. And I'll give you the recipes that I use to make it work. It's, um, I forgot the exact name of it. Some people call it floating, but that's, and some of them take it and just pour paint all over everything. And, but that's a big mess. I don't, I don't want to do that. This is just acrylic paints like your Apple Barrel 50 cent paints. And we're just going to thin them down and we're going to float them on top of the water and dip our paper. Um, but you have to, some of the paper has to be treated. Um, so I'm working on it this week. And as soon as I can get it to work, if you're a Patreon, I will post pics of what I got to work in the secret patreon group and on patreon and you guys will get a sneak peek of what we're going to cover and um, the rest of you guys will just have to tune in and see sorry but it's gonna it's awesome the, it really looks awesome and no, the thing about it is no two patterns are ever alike so I mean you can get like colors but no two patterns will ever be alike but they are so fun to do and use for panels and for stamping on. Um, they're great. But we're going to work on that and see what we can do uh, with it ourselves. I thank you all for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up on the video. You guys come over to the Facebook groups. Uh, if you're not a member, most of you are, um, and join the Facebook groups. Uh, visit me on Patreon. If you're not a supporter, please consider supporting and if you are supporters I thank you so much I, you are greatly greatly appreciated thank you to my moderators thank you Bonnie for helping me test files you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you at the next live